Jim Steer, what was the major thing that you took away at the end of today's summit? What really sticks in your mind from it? I've just come from you know people gathering after the event, and they, I mean there's still a tremendous buzz there, and people are coming up to me and saying, "Oh, we wish we'd organised this conference. It's been so successful." And you very, very rarely hear that. Um, why are they saying that? They're saying it because it, the, the excitement is palpable. And what's the excitement about? The excitement's about doing something that we don't really do in this country. I thought it was one really telling comment that, quite honestly, amongst many others, st stood out for me. It was when um, Lord Adonis, summing up, said, um, "Well, you know, people say sceptically, can we can we do this planning in this? You know, we've got a terrible planning process. It'll hold things up." He said, that's not the problem. I've looked at this. And he is a historian, remember. He said, that's not the problem. The problem is we don't produce plans. The only exception in transport since the Second World War is the National Motorway Plan. And we're at a similar stage now. We need something like that to develop a high-speed rail network overall strategy. And his conviction that given that we can do it as a nation, I thought... I thought was compelling, and I think that's why you know people people downstairs are still buzzing and excited. The political will uh, we talked about a lot, didn't we? And we did hear from the two uh, figures that matter in that: the opposition spokesman and, of course, Lord Adonis himself. So, is the commitment really that clear in your mind? Well, you, you know, I mean, politics is, uh, is politics, and you know that very well. But what do, what did Theresa Villiers say? She was asked. Uh, well, no, actually, she wasn't asked. She, she put it in as a bit of rhetoric. Well, I suppose what you want to know is the £15.6 billion of public sector money that the Tory party had committed to last September, actually a commitment made during the financial crash. I mean, layman's was collapsing the day before. It was an extraordinary thing to do. Do we still stand by that? And her answer was unequivocal, we do. If elected... We're committed to spending that money on high-speed rail. Now, that's an extraordinary thing. I mean, whether the Conservatives will form the next government, others could, will decide in due course. The odds are that they possibly will. And that's an extraordinary commitment. I don't think anybody uh, can think of a precedent. We heard an awful lot today on the technical side. We heard of the, the glories of Spain and all sorts of innovations there. We heard about open access in Italy. Yeah. There, there was a lot of, well, for a lot of people, a lot of new stuff. Even for you, did you learn a lot? Oh, I, I did, absolutely. And, and, and what's, what's really extraordinary is to see these things side by side. I mean, you can go on a sort of technical visit to Germany and you understand the ICE fleet and the issues and problems they've had. But to hear what's happened across the world, to hear France put alongside Germany, alongside Italy, alongside Spain, Japan, and so on, I mean, it, it really is exciting. I mean, it was an exciting day. Um, I learned stuff. And you learn things from the sort of comparisons as much as anything. Uh, and what, what, what do people say are the problems? You know, in Italy, well, we've got this problem dealing with the, the state-owned railway. But we have a good regulatory system. You hear in France, I mean, these may seem arcane subjects, but in France you hear SNCF, the state monopoly provider at the moment, saying, we have a problem with our regulator. We don't know what the track charges are going to be. Now, you might think these are all sort of detailed points, but th there are valuable lessons. Well, in building high-speed rail, we need to have good regulation. We need to know what the track access charges are. Otherwise, we won't get funding. Um, so, yeah, terrific stuff.